I want to start this week out thanking all my partners. Partners, thank you for all that you do, helping us do what God has commissioned us to do, and that is to sow His Word, sow His love all over this world. You're helping us get the Word to people, to millions of people that need to know what we have come to find out, that God loves them and He cares for them and He wants more than anything to be part of their lives. You know, there's millions of people that don't know that. They don't know what the Word says to them, for them, and about them. And God has commissioned me to do what I am I am thanking you for helping me do, and that is to sow His Word all over this world, free of charge to anybody that will listen. You know, I spent a lot of years, the biggest part of my adult life, thinking God was mad at me. And there's people all over this world that think the same thing. They think that that, that God's some tyrant. He's some some bipolar old man with a hammer in one hand, a lightning bolt in the other, just waiting for somebody to mess up so he can knock them in the head and, and keep them in line. That ain't God. That's religion. And, and I thank God every day that he has given me the realization and the revelation that, that what religion taught me over the years is not him. Oh, I thank God for the truth in his word. Hey, I want to, like I said, I thank all the partners, but I want to, I want to tell you something. If, if you're listening to this podcast and, and you need something from God, send me a prayer request. We want to hear from you. I want to hear what God's doing in your life. I want to hear what you need him to do in your life. I want to send you scriptures that you can stand on and believe that, that God is going to do what His Word said he's, says He's going to do. I struggled the biggest part of my adult life thinking that, you know, I was on my own just to, just to stagger along and, and, and to do the best that I know to do in my own strength. And, and I failed miserably because I didn't know what God's Word said. I didn't know that I could stand in the blood of my Lord Jesus Christ and stand and become and know that I was the righteousness of God in Him, in my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, I thank God for those truths. And and this is what this podcast is all about. That's the reason it's it's named The Prodigal Son. There's millions of people out here that need to know that God loves them, that need to know that he's that loving father that, that, that was standing, that is standing, waiting on them to come home. Oh, I thank God for those truths. Like I've said before, thank you, partners, for all that you do, all that you are doing and all that you're going to do to help us further God's kingdom. My prayers for the world that we live in, for every living person that walks the face of this earth, comes out of Paul's prayers for the Ephesians. You know, Paul wanted the, the Ephesians to know and understand that he that God was for them, that he loved them, and he wanted their spiritual eyes open to that love. And that is my desire for every person that walks the face of this planet, that they would come to see and understand just how good he is, just how good God is and, and wants to be part of their life. Ephesians 1.15 says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I've not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope He has given to those He called, His holy people, who are His rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe Him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3.14 says, When I think of all this, 
I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God that he opened my eyes to that love And that is my earnest prayer for every person that walks the face of this planet, that they have their spiritual eyes open to just how much God loves them, just how much He cares for them, just how much He wants to be part of their lives. Oh, I thank God that that He's shown me that truth. And I pray that you open your eyes to that truth. How are you going to do that? Through the truth in His Word. Glory to God. Let's see what God's Word has to say today. Father, I thank You and I praise You, God, for Your Word. Guide me. Use me for Your honor and Your glory. Help me be the light, the vessel that you would, that you can shine through, that you can speak through today. Lord, I thank you for all that you're doing in my life and the people's lives that listen to this podcast. Lord, I thank you for the truth in your word. Guide me and direct me. I'll give you all the praise and glory for it all. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. You know, yesterday... We touched on it, and it seems like this is a this is a a running theme for this for this podcast. The way we do it, you know, the Lord will give me a scripture, and then then He'll build on it through the week, and 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 we'll we'll mention a scripture the day before, and He wants us to expound on it the next day, and and it just ties everything together, and and this is a very important scripture. This is something. That I told the guys at the jail the other day, and 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 it's it's so true. It's so th- so true. If you want to find the peace of God, renew your mind with God's word to find His peace. Renew your mind with His word. Strengthen your mind with His word. With His Word, and you'll find the peace that we're talking about. That peace that, that only God can give you. And it comes out of Romans 12 and 2. Now, it's very important, this first part of this verse. It says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye might prove what is good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. What did I? What what were we talking about? What do I, I think I said it. Talked about it yesterday. That the video, what God's word can do in your life, and 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 it's a it's a YouTube video. And let me make sure that's that is the uh, the uh, the name of it because I want I want everybody to to go back and look at it. I mean it's it's something else. And, and the Lord gave me this. I mean He gave me what. Uh, he gave me the whole idea. My wife helped me figure out a simple way to do it. I was about to t- tear off into something that was going to be a major, a major deal. What God's word can do in your life? Yeah, that's what what the uh, that's what the name of the video is. It's five five uh, minutes and fifty seconds, but it is a picture of what God's word can do in your life. It's just a it's just a, a pot of coffee with the with the sink faucet, the kitchen sink faucet and the water turned on and that water going into that into that coffee and over time, over five hours and fifty five minutes and fifty seconds, it completely removes all that coffee out of that pot and leaves that pot crystal clear. And and that's what God's word can do for your mind. He can clear all the world out of you. He can put you in a place that you've got peace 
that uh, they, there ain't nothing in this world can jar it out of you. Now, believe me, believe me. We talked about it yesterday. Uh, my com- when my computer went went bad, I I had a perfect opportunity to lose my peace, to lose my peace. But did I? Absolutely not. I I didn't lo- I didn't even think about what I was going to do. Cause, you know why? Because God's word is true. Philippians 4.19 says, How my God shall supply all my needs. And I proclaim that all the time. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I didn't even think about, you know, oh God, what am I going to do? No, I knew what I was going to do. The Lord was going to supply the need. And he did. (laughs) He did. I mean, I didn't even have to ask him. That's the funny part about it. That's why when you find God's peace in your heart and 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 the truths that bring that peace, you ain't gonna go you ain't gonna go, hey Lord, don't you see what's going on down here? Don't you see this? Oh, this is a, this was a need. A need in this ministry. A need in this ministry. I needed a new computer. I could get by at home in the studio with the one I had. But if I had to go out of town, if I needed to pick this computer up and, and go upstairs and, and, and do something and edit away from this screen, I couldn't have done it. I couldn't have done it. And, 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 and this person just, just same as twisted my arm. She didn't, but you know, she, she made it perfectly clear. I want to do this for you. I want to do this for you. And she said, pray about it. And I did. I prayed about it. And the Lord said, don't deny her a blessing. Don't deny her a blessing. And I allowed her to do it. And, and oh, it's a, <laughs> that's one thing that, that you'll learn to do when you, find, when you find the truth in God's word. You'll learn to receive from him. God's going to do things for you through other people. I've heard story after story about people saying, oh, no, there's no way I could do that. No way I couldn't, I couldn't receive that from you. No, you're, you know, that's too much. No, God wants to bless you through other people. He wants to bless you so that you can have peace to receive that blessing because it takes peace in your heart. It takes God's peace to receive something like that from someone. No strings attached. I just want to give it to you. And that's what they done. And that's what they done. And they they didn't have to. Wasn't a big deal. It wasn't a big deal at all. But what I'm talking about is that peace that I had before this ever come about. How did it come about? Because I had renewed my mind with God's Word. I had renewed my mind with Philippians 4.19. I knew without a shadow of a doubt that all my needs would be met. I didn't know they was going to walk up and give me a computer. Didn't have no idea. A $3,000 computer. $3,000. Time they got it shipped and, and the warranty and everything went with it, it was $3,000. And I'm thinking, wow, that's what God can do. That's what you can, you can see done when you've got peace enough about you to, to just stand back and watch him work. Watch him work. I thank God today that for that peace. I thank God for that today for a partner that will say, hey, I want to sow this into you. I want to sow it into your ministry. I want to give it to you so that you can further the kingdom of God. I thank God for the peace that he's given me. I praise God for what he has given me, and it's all come through the renewing of my mind to his word. That's what you, I want, you get to, I want you to get to you today, that if you will renew your mind to God's word, if you will renew your mind to what he is saying in his word to you, for you, and about you, there's a peace in that. That I don't care, like I, I've said it before earlier in the week, a hundred million dollars in the bank ain't going to give you the peace that you can acquire through putting God's word into your heart and washing all that world out of you, renewing your mind 
to his truth, to his truth. Not my truths, but his. Oh, it thrills me. It thrills me to be able to stand where I stand today and look back almost six and a half years ago and and see where I've come from to see where I've come from. All the doubt, the fear, and the unbelief washed out of my mind. How? Through the renewing of my mind, through Jesus Christ, through His Word, through God's Word, through, through, through what God has written down for me in His Word, believing it and pouring it into my life so that, so that I, can, I can have that peace. You can have that peace today. You can overcome anything in this world through peace, through the peace that you'll acquire through renewing your mind with God's Word. You'll find that peace. You'll find His peace, a peace that passes all understanding. I'm going to tell you something. You're not going to find that peace in a bank full of money. You're not going to find that peace in a bottle of pills. You're not going to find that peace in a person you're, I mean, my wife, you, let, let me explain to you. I have the best, the best wife in this, on this entire planet. No one in this world has a better, a better spouse than I do. Whether you're a man or a woman, whether you've got a husband or a wife, you have no better spouse than I've got. I promise you, I've got the best one on the planet. I've got it. But I'm going to tell you something. She doesn't hold a candle. To, to a the peace. I, I, I have a lot of confidence in my wife. Know what she can do and know what she will do. And, and I, I, I put responsibilities in, in her realm of this household that I don't even think about. Don't do not think about because I know she's well and capable of handling them. But I'm going to promise you something. The peace that I have in my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and what my Father has written down for me to believe and understand and stand in, uh, I promise you they they overshadow the peace that I have through through what my wife knows how to do and does in my, in my family. Uh, God's peace far outweighs anything that I've ever found in her. And she understands what I'm saying. I love her with all my heart. She does things for me, get, takes, takes things off of me, the responsibility off of me so that I can do what I'm called to do. But I promise you, the peace that I feel uh, allowing her to do that doesn't, doesn't hold a candle to the peace that I have in my heart over what God's Word says to me, for me, and about me. And you can find out that same thing. You can find out what it's like to have that peace, to have your mind renewed, to have your mind renewed to his truths, his love and his mercy, his grace and his goodness. Having your mind renewed to just how good God is. And how are you going to do that? Through his word. Renew your mind with God's word to find his peace. Now you may be in this listen to this podcast and you may say, Boy, that is that would be I would love to have that kind of peace in my life, but I don't. I'm not born again. I don't know what it's like to have Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. People, I've got news for you today. Today is the day to be born again. Romans ten and nine said, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, it says, Thou shalt be saved. It says, For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. That's all it takes to be saved. Won't you allow Jesus Christ to be Lord of your life today? Confess him with your mouth. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, and you will be saved. Glory to God, you will be saved. I thank God for people that are being set free listening to these truths. Won't you be born again today? Won't you allow Jesus Christ to come into your heart and into your life and save you, to bear you into God's family? I promise you, it'll be the best decision that you've ever made in your life. Hey, if you're listening to this podcast, go to our website, 
Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com. I want to hear from you. I want to hear what God's doing in your life. I want to hear what you need Him to do in your life. You know, you may be you may be uh, needing something from Him, and you want me to pray with you. Send me your prayer request. I want to know what God's what what you need. I want I want to agree with you according to God's word on that need. Glory to God. Send me your prayer request. I want to send you scriptures that you and I both can stand on and agree on that God is going to answer your prayer. I promise you. God's not going not, God, not going to write down something and not follow through with it. Oh, I thank God for his truth. I thank God that you can stand on his truth. Send me those prayer requests. Go to our website. It's the dash prodigalson.com. Now, hey, I want to thank all the partners. Partners, once again, thank you for all that you do sowing into this ministry, helping us do what God has commissioned us to do in this world, and that is to give His truths away, free of charge, to give His Word away all over this world so that others can be set free by the truths that we've been set free, free by. Partners, thank you. Thank you for all that you're doing. Like I said the other day, we picked up another, I think we had already been in this country. I just hadn't noticed it for a while, but uh, United Arab Emirates, I, I, that's where Dubai is. And, and people in that country are listening to this podcast, being set free through the truths in God's Word. And partners, you got a part in that. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today, a hundredfold return on everything that you sow into this ministry. If you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to sow into this ministry today to help us further His kingdom. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com.